What's going on everybody? We're here with another diecast review. In today's diecast review, we're going to be reviewing Cars Heyday Smokey. The truck looks good. It has some weight to it. I do like that. I definitely like that. You can see the bottom of it. Packaging looks good. You got the top with him on it. And then you got the face on the front of the truck. Looks the exact same. But everybody from this wave is right here, which looks good. I do like to get the 95 Lightning McQueen and the 86. I don't know the rest of them. I probably won't get the rest of them. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get if I find them. I do like to have that 86. But I do like the race car ones. So, and I don't know what year this has actually came out. If you can actually leave that in the comment section below, please do. Because I know the new ones say new for 2024. But let's go ahead and crack open this Heyday Smoky truck. Man, I can't wait to take a closer look at it. Actually, we got that out of the packaging. And actually, the truck doesn't have as much weight as I thought it did from the packaging. I guess it was just the packaging that may actually made this have some weight to it but this actually doesn't have much weight you go start on the front here you got the face you got the smile at the bottom right there above the bumper on the front you got the hat which is pretty cool how they actually made the hat on top that's pretty cool you got Smokies, thomasville i don't know where thomasville it's all it says don't have a state or anything you got the little <coughs> fuel thing on the back that's a pretty cool touch i haven't seen any other ones actually have that but this one actually does tires do all roll all four which you can see underneath we got the extra tire that's a pretty cool little touch there they add it and then you got the back of it which has the license plate and it says best dang garage in town that's pretty cool i like that then you got the truck bed which is with that wood finish in the side that's pretty cool you can see the back window on the other side, Smokies, uh, Thomasville there, and that's pretty much about it. The truck does have some weight. I mean, it's not really much more to really say. I mean, if you haven't caught the last one with the Airborne, pretty much the same. I mean, they're just not really much to talk about. Like, this one had the feel. If you haven't watched the video, please go back and do it. That's That video is before this one. So it is in the playlist of cars if you have missed any of the cars ones. Please go back and check those out because I have a lot of them in there. But this one, I like it. Just pretty much a simple truck. It doesn't have really anything other than the hat on top, the extra tire on the bottom, the truck bed being in the wood. But that does have a good little feel to it, a little good little texture part to it. Top of it smooth. I mean, it's pretty much a simple, simple truck, honestly. But I do like his face. His eyes are in blue. That looks really good like that. I mean, he has a big smile on his face. I mean, it's not really much to really talk about with this one because it's just simple. But if you want to see more of them, please like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what year actually this truck came out. Because, I mean, on all the packages, it says 2021 on it. But I know they couldn't all come out in 2021. And we're still finding them in 2024. Unless they made a crap load of releases of them. But if you want to see more of them, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again with another diecast video. And if you want to catch up on any of the cars ones that I have done reviews on, they are in the playlist. So I'll see you again with another diecast review. Hope everybody's enjoying their day.